The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cupboard. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. My mum's beard. Get yourselves together, lads. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. No way you can get to this isle conventionally. Crikey. You call a shipwreck conventional? Leave it be me. You know what he means. <coughs> Let me explain. A short while past, we were on route from Skellige to Novigrad. And Ferenc got talking with the captain, who sold him a magic firefly for Potter to know the way to a hidden treasure. Got nothing to fear from me. Said the fox with a gaggle in peace. I've lost too many mates already. I won't risk it. I can't. Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Three. Hey, Rival Gaspar and Ferenc. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edric insisted he'd explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge it. Gaspard. Well, I find him. He said it was defeatist. Said the wait to be rescued. We had to take action. Or, or at least, he did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West. In search of a ship that's said to be your death. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see one thing. All right. 
See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. Friends, come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I have one regret that... Oh, ah, ah! Dead. To bed, nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. <sighs> Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. <laughs> It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. Blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... <gasps> I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. Stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. All right, right, just a wee bit longer. Get up. Mm. 
know much about this island. Almost nothing. You know, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Stubby legs, too slow. You're keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. Ah, uh, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen hair lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalla. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalar? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalar helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalar tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I'd left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us, we were looking for you. At times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, I felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. How do you wind up here? What happened? Last I remember, I was on the Skellica shore, arguing with Avalok. He wanted to take me somewhere safe. After that, nothing but dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat round a fire drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it, and something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. 
but at the same time I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child. Siri! <laughs> My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. Just like I remembered. What? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalux resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time's short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Triss, please. No. No, you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine. So, a minute, then we go, all right? <sighs> this is just...
just a little awkward. 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And then we throw the gauntlet at the Wild Hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. But for your candor... Time to go. 